Former white-collar criminal Walt Pavlo spent three months under house arrest in Savannah, Georgia. The memory of that experience remains fresh in his mind. The two-year anniversary of his release is tomorrow. So Walt, we're sitting in an apartment here in New York City that's about 450 right. square feet of space. It's, it's pretty tiny. Right. When you were under house arrest, were you in a size house like this or was it far bigger? Well, in, in Savannah, I was in a little, little larger condominium. It was about 1,500 square feet. Um, but uh, it's still, you know, very small. It's not a lot of, you know, it's not a lot of room that you can roam while you're under home confinement. Pavlo, 42, was convicted of money laundering and wire fraud, as he says, basically cooking the books of MCI Telecom. He went to prison in March 2001 for two years. Afterwards, he went home, but remained under confinement. Well, let's talk about that ankle bracelet. Mm -hmm. What what leg did you have it on? It's on my, le it's on my, uh, it's on my left ankle. Mm -hmm. And um, what, what it does is like about the size of, I guess, an iPod, um, and it's it kind of uh, has a band that goes on, and it's tethered to you 24/7. It, it never even when you. you're in the shower. Even when you're in the shower, even when you go to sleep, you have to learn to kind of sleep with a uh, big bulge on the inside of your your leg, and and uh, you can't tamper with it too much too because that tends to set off alarms too. Now, is it made out of plastic or metal? And I would think it would chafe. I think it would. I would think that after a while, you have enough of that. Definitely does. I mean, it, 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 it wears on you, and the more that you try to just make yourself comfortable with it, sometimes the tighter that it gets, or it rubs against you in a certain way, but you, you have to learn to kind of ignore it. It's like when you were a kid, if you had a cast, you wanted to scratch and you can't get to it because you just don't want to be messing with it um, for risk of setting it off. So you just try to avoid touching it at all costs, which is, which is hard. Even worse, says Walt. You're ashamed of it. It's, an, it's another feeling of shame that you carry around with you. So it's, it's, it's difficult. So the only people that I really invited in were ones that were understanding, that didn't mind the phone call that might come from your probation officer. You told me a lot about how it's really influenced your life and how you're trying to come back from that. And you feel like, you know, you're paying your debt. Right. Um, it's almost as if that bracelet sort of doesn't go away. Do you know what I mean? It's true. It's true. I mean, the whole stigma for a white collar felon and not looking for any sympathy or, or uh, anything, but people need to understand that it's it indeed in the social circle that most white collar felons come from. It's a life sentence. People look at you much differently than they ever did before. You were in a position of trust. You were in a position of authority. And you abuse that. And there's no way to really identify what, made, what it was that made you do that. And that's frightening to a lot of people. The day that you got this ankle bracelet off, right? what was that like? Um, it was an unbelievable feeling. It was truly the first feeling of freedom that I had um, to be able to... To, to not care where, where I was, you know, where, where I was. And when I lived in Savannah, I can tell you exactly what I did. I drove to the beach because it was as far away from anybody. I didn't want to be near anyone. For just a moment, I wanted someone not to know where I was and just for a minute experience what a little bit of freedom tasted like. And um, I didn't stay very long because I had to get back to work. Um, but I did take my time, and it was a it was it was a quick feeling to say it's it's over with, it's it's done. You know, it's that part of that confinement is over with for me. And now it's time for Jerry's show and tell <laughs> routine tonight. You actually brought one of those ankle I bracelets. I brought you an under ankle there. bracelet. Look